what is up you guys welcome to my channel my name is Kalissa and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I straighten my natural hair that has not been straightened in three years and I'm so excited to be doing this I am doing this for my 21st birthday and if you want to see how I celebrated my 21st birthday during quarantine just stay tuned for the next video okay so for this style I am starting with freshly washed hair if you would like to see how I wash my natural hair, check the description box and there will be links down below to videos that I already have done of me washing my natural hair. I'm going to start off with damp hair and the heat protectant that I will be using today for today's heat style will be the Chi Silk Infusion and it is a rich reconstructed complex made of pure natural silk, wheat, and soy proteins. And this leave-in treatment is going to help to hydrate and moisturize my hair that helps to provide a silky smooth finish to my flat iron. I do wanna add a disclaimer here that I am not a professional hairstylist. I am just doing what I think is best for my natural hair. This silk infusion product was not cheap. This is only the travel size and it was like $16 from Sally's Beauty. Um, I'm going to apply that silk infusion starting with the ends and working my way up and trying to coat every single strand. When doing my research, I did see that some reviews said that it was a heavy product and that it will weigh your hair down. But me personally, I found it to be a little lightweight and being that I haven't flat ironed my hair in three years, I do not want heat damaged now or ever. So I did go back in with a tad bit more to coat my hair with. Okay, so here I am separating my hair into two sections and soon you will see that I separate those sections into two more sections so that I have smaller sections to work in that should help make blow drying my hair go a lot smoother. To help blow dry my hair, I'm going to be using the magnesium paddle brush that I also got from Sally Beauty. It was about $10 and I am brushing my hair from the ends up into the roots to help detangle before I blow dry. Now you'll see that when blow drying, I did start off using the tension method. It's where you hold your hair taut and just hold the blow dryer at your roots to help stretch it out. Now with my powder brush, I'm just going to go in and brush it as I bring the blow dryer down the length of my hair. It did snag onto my hair and I was not feeling it. And I was like, this brush got one more time. Just one more and it's over for this brush. Anyways, it started going more smooth. I guess you can say that. Um, being that this is a magnesium brush, it is known to help retain heat that helps to provide faster dry times and help eliminate frizzy and flyaway hair that would help me get sleek results after this blowout. The key to a good blowout is to let the blow dryer do most of the work, especially when you're natural or even when you're not natural, you don't want heat damage. So let the blow dryer do most of the work getting your hair as straight as possible with the blow dryer so that you don't have to go over your hair multiple times with the flat iron.
I did just get my nose pierced that day on July 1st, the day before my 21st birthday, and I just wanna know if y'all like it. As y'all can see, I was already starting to feel this blowout, and don't mind me, I did have some music playing, but for copyright reasons, I could not, you know, have that playing in the background of the video. But, you know, just gonna keep doing the same process all over my entire head. Okay, I was finally finished with blow drying my hair and I think I was just too hyped up on the 21st birthday energy that surprisingly enough my arms was not hurting just yet. But we're going to get into the straightening process and the straightening iron that I will be using is the Chi. I will say that this flat iron is not cheap either. I think I paid like $80 for it from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. And I'm going to give you the details about this flat iron in just a moment. And once again, I was not playing. I did put some more heat protectant on my hair after the blow dryer process. I just put that all over my ends and everywhere else I could get it. looking at this video saying that my hair needs a trim I know it does but I just recently did one not that long ago so it's not gonna happen right now okay to straighten my hair I did go ahead and section my hair off back into the four sections and you will also see that I put those sections into even smaller sections to straighten my hair. Once again, I'm detangling my hair before working on it. So from the ends to the roots, I detangle my hair and then I'm going to hold my hair as I tap my roots maybe two or three times with the flat iron to get it as straight as possible. 
and then with my rat tail comb I'm going to place that on the hair and I'm going to do the comb chase method so that the hair that's getting fed into the flat iron is detangled and as straight as it can be so that I only have to pass my hair one time. Being that my hair had not been heat straightened at all in the past three years, it did feel like, you know, I kind of felt like I didn't know what I was doing at first until I got into the groove of things and it was coming out silky smooth. And if you do notice, which I will show you again, I did curl the ends of my hair because I'm turning 21. We have to serve the girl's body. The hair has to be serving body. <laughs> I also want to add that as I progressed with my hair, I did stop using the rat tail comb to detangle my hair and started using the paddle brush and it worked way much easier using the paddle brush instead of the rat tail comb to detangle my hair. But once again, I'm going to tap my roots about two or three times to get it straight and then I'm going to place the rat tail comb on the hair place the flat iron behind it and chase the comb down the length of my hair to get a silky smooth finish. And then I'm gonna go back and flip my ends to give the girls a body. Here you can see I was not used to that flat iron smell. <laughs> I was not used to the smell anymore. And again, like I said earlier, I know I need a trim, but that's not happening right now. I probably trim it, you know, once I'm done wearing this style, but for now, this is what it's gonna look like. And using this chi, it did live up to its expectations that I would get silky smooth results after only one pass on my hair.
Okay, let me say that I have no clue as to why I brushed out my curls in the middle of my flat iron. But I did not like it, so I did go back to the other side of my hair and in bigger sections so that, you know, less damage as possible. And I did go back in larger sections and curled the ends of my hair again. Okay, and these are the results of straightening my hair. I absolutely loved it. I will see if I can insert some better videos or better pictures of it. And yeah, I absolutely loved it. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more hair content, um, just make sure you click the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, like this video, and share this video with every single person you know. But anyways, yes, 21 is looking good. <laughs> also, in appreciating this length, I do want to add that I had cut my hair to where it couldn't even fit into a ponytail one year ago. And it has just grown so much. But again, you know, stay tuned for some extra clips of me wrapping my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Again, subscribe to this channel. Check the description box and check out the links below. I do have another channel if you guys want to check that out and subscribe to that one. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you guys later.